YouTube. Uh, today we're going to be doing a uh, product review for um, insulated uh, tumblers. And the reason I got the idea for the video is for Christmas this year, my brother got me uh, this uh, tumbler here. And I liked the way it looked. It was uh, different and unique from other things on the market. And so I want to just do a product comparison uh, to show uh, how it compares with uh, some of the other competitors. Uh, this is uh, from a company called Smoky Mountain Growlers, and they do sell growlers, and uh, I had to look that up. I'm not a, a beer drinker per se, but you beer drinkers out there will know right off the bat what a growler is. And uh, Smoky Mountain Growlers, I'm assuming that was their first product, but they also carry a 20-ounce and a 30-ounce uh, tumbler, and they have the unique uh, design with the twist in it. So I'm going to be comparing that with, the, uh, of course, the Yeti gold standard or at least the first market for uh, insulated coolers. Again, this is their 20 ounce. Um, and then this is the Ozark Trail, uh, which for those of you who don't know, that's the uh, Walmart uh, brand, uh, kind of the generic version of, uh, of a tumbler. All right, so first I'm going to go over uh, briefly how these are the same, and then I'm going to talk a, bit, a little bit about the differences, and then for those of you who want to uh, to see some of the tests I did, I'll have those at the end of the video for you to watch uh, if you're interested. Uh, so first, let's talk about the lids. Um, they all have a plastic lid with a, uh, a little seal um, to uh, keep them on. Um, the Yeti and the Ozark Trail both have a uh, black seal. I don't know exactly what, what it's made of. Um, I don't know if it's silicone or rubber or some other compound. And then the uh, Smoky Mountain Growler, I did check their website and theirs is a silicone. And they do provide uh, free replacements if those wear out. Um, another thing to talk about on the lid is I think the lid for the Ozark Trail and the Yeti, you'll notice, are interchangeable. And I think there are some aftermarket um, lids that uh, are made to fit either of those. But I think notice the lid for the Smoky Mountain Growler uh, does not interchange and so therefore any third party lids are not going to fit Smoky Mountain Growler uh, twisted tumbler. Uh, they're also the same, they all are uh, advertised as 20 ounce tumblers, but what I found out and uh, I've got a test for this later on is that um, although these probably, I didn't measure exactly, but if you fill them to the top they probably hold 20 ounces. But if you fill them up to uh, the base of the lid, uh, with the lid on, they're only like 18 ounces. And so that's kind of uh, a benefit that the Smoky Mountain uh, Growler Twisted Tumbler has. It holds a full 20 ounces with the lid on. And so if you took the lid off, you could probably get 22 or 23. So that's a, a bonus for the... Uh, Smoky Mountain Twisted Tumbler. I found a bonus building Care Greenville in Greenville. It's 18.9 miles away on Pelham Road. It's currently closed, but will be open tomorrow from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Alexa just decided to uh, chime in on the middle of my video. Hmm. I can't find the answer to the question I heard. All right. Um, another way these things uh, are the same. They're all... Uh, made of stainless steel, 18-8 uh, rust proof construction. Uh, so the uh, only difference there is the Smoky Mountain Tumbler has a third layer of copper uh, that they advertise. So it's triple insulated uh, advertised, whereas the other ones are just double insulated. All right, and the other thing, they're all three, of course, BPA free. I'm not sure why they even uh, advertise that, except for maybe for the uh, lids. Um, and they're also all sweat free. So fill them up with your favorite hot liquid or cold liquid and uh, you can't even uh, tell the temperature of the contents based on the outside temperature uh, of the product. Okay, now uh, let's talk a little bit about the differences. Um, you can tell uh, the Ozark Trail and the Yeti both have embossed logos on the, on the tumbler itself as well as on the lid. Yeti has their uh, Yeti logo on the top, and they also have it on the bottom, actually. Ozark Trail, I don't think, has it on the bottom, no. 
The Smoky Mountain uh, Twisted Tumbler doesn't have it on the bottom or the lid, and the logo on the on the thing itself is actually printed on. Okay, so that's one of the differences. Uh, another difference is the double versus triple insulated, which I uh, inadvertently mentioned in the way they were the same, but uh, that's actually different. These two are double insulated, while the Smoky Mountain Growler Twisted Tumbler is triple insulated. And of course, this one has the unique twisted shape. And uh, talking with the president of the company, he said that uh, it was kind of uh, built in not only to uh, make it stand out uh, against the competitors, uh, but it also helps in the cup holders to fit better. All right, and finally the weight. Um, again, I've got a test later on in the video for this. Uh, the twisted tumbler is uh, lighter. So this weighs 11.2 ounces. The Yeti weighs 12.5. And the Ozark uh, is the heaviest at 12.9 ounces. Okay. And finally, uh, the difference is where the weld seam is on these guys. Uh, the Ozark Trail has no seams on the inside, but there is a visible seam on, on the outside. You can see here around the bottom. The Yeti, uh, again, no, no uh, seam on the inside. Theirs is on uh, the bottom, around the, the bottom here. And if you like the look of a uh, smooth, no seam on the outside, then the uh, Smoky Mountain Growler Twisted Tumbler is where you want to go. Their seam is actually on the inside here. Uh, you can see it. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's running uh, top to bottom on the inside of the, of the tumbler. And finally, just a minor uh, marketing point. Um, See, all of the tumblers come with a sleeve around the outside for advertising and marketing. This one had one, but I threw it away on Christmas morning, and so it's gone. But it, it did come with one. And the Yeti is the only one that comes with a, a sticker. It comes with a uh, little placard that tells some of the key features and care instructions. And, of course, it also has a mini catalog so you can see all their other products. That being said, those are all the differences. Um, final thing that we'll do in the uh, remaining time is the ice test, and that's probably what uh, most people are interested in. I did an ice test where I basically fill these up uh, to the top with ice and set a timer, and we see how long it took for the ice to completely melt. And uh, I've got those results later in the video. Uh, basically, they're all exactly the same. Um, I think these two may have lasted five or ten minutes longer uh, as far as keeping the ice uh, completely in the ice cube. Uh, but basically it was around, I can't remember, but I'll show you the results in the video and I'll, I'll post a tag on the video.